Forecast Center, Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. Well, today was the fifth straight day with below normal high temperatures, but it is going to start to warm up tomorrow. Here's a look at your seven day temperature trend. Our normal high is 35. Tomorrow we should be mainly in the upper 30s, mid to upper 30s on Friday, 40s over the weekend, maybe some lower 50s in a couple of spots. Widespread 50s to around 60 on Monday. 50s early Tuesday before sunrise and then falling temperatures throughout the day. A week from today, closer to normal with highs right around freezing. That's not the type of forecast that you would expect to wrap up November and move into December. Right now we've got a mixture of teens, 20s and 30s across Northeast Wisconsin after most of us did reach highs in the lower to mid 30s earlier this afternoon. Mostly sunny skies throughout the day. We basically had blue skies mixing with some high clouds from time to time and those clouds continue to stream in from the north and west this evening ahead of our next weather maker which is is a cold front. That cold front is going to be dropping into the viewing area as we head into tomorrow afternoon. Ahead of that front today, it was starting to warm back up. Temperatures running 5 to 10 degrees warmer than what we saw yesterday and uh, warmer than what we've been seeing for the last three or four days across the central part of the country. The high in Green Bay today was 35 degrees, but it was 47 in Des Moines, 43 in Sioux Falls. We had lower 40s across southern Wisconsin as well, and those 40s are going to try to move a little bit farther to the north as we head into tomorrow afternoon. So look for a high of 42 in Wild Rose, right around 40 in Holland. From about Green Bay North, the temperatures will be cooler, mid to upper 30s, as a cold front drops in from the UP, switching the winds to the north and east and giving us an area of low clouds. So precision cast tonight shows high clouds mixing with some stars and the full moon. Tomorrow morning, mostly sunny skies. Then that cold front drops in during the early afternoon and continues to push off towards the south. Once that front moves in, Winds will turn to the north and east. They'll pick up and we'll also see some low clouds. Now on Friday, that front is going to stall to our south. At the same time, a weak little disturbance is going to ride east along it. And that means we're going to have the chance for a light mixture, some light rain or light snow, maybe some drizzle as well. It's going to be breezy and we could be looking at some fog. Now that stationary front returns north as a warm front as we move into the weekend. And that means high temperatures will be running 10, 15, 20, 25 degrees above normal for this time of year. That'll continue through Monday and into very early Tuesday as well. So your forecast for tonight calls for high clouds and that full frost moon. Overnight lows will be in the mid 20s. Tomorrow, sun and clouds early, then the clouds will win out as we move into the late afternoon and evening. Turning breezy as that front drops in from the north. Look for a high temperature right around 39 degrees. On Friday, cloudy skies, some light rain or light snow, a little bit of drizzle. Breezy conditions, highs in the mid to upper 30s. Windy with a few showers on Saturday, maybe some fog as well in there. Sun and clouds on Sunday, upper 40s to lower 50s. 50s on Monday, 50s before sunrise on Tuesday. Then it looks like upper 30s during the afternoon. And then you can expect a high temperature right around freezing by the time we get to next Wednesday. Those are incredible temperatures, Cameron. Yeah, I mean, if we get some sunshine on Sunday or Monday, I mean, we could be looking at some spots getting up into the 60s across the state. Not a typical December game day at Lambeau. No, warmest <laughs> December temperatures in over a decade. Yeah, that's crazy. Well, if you look outside, you're probably noticing more and more holiday decorations all around.